Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to be talking about Ray's system exit. This is actually a bit of a shift in my former best practices. This actually is a throwback to the very first Explains video, uh, 001, which is about writing a testable command line. I will link that in the description. Uh, in that video, I go over a pattern for writing an entry point that looks something like this. Uh, if we open up a Python file and we write our entry point and say we're using arg parse and sequence and from future annotation. So this is what my entry point used to look like. argv equals a sequence of stir that is optional and defaulted to none and returns an integer and then an argument parser Arg parse dot argument parser. Uh, and I will add some sort of random, no, maybe it's name for like a hello world thing. Parser dot parse args. And then I don't know, we'll do hello hello args dot name. So I need to assign args. And then we return this. And what I did in the original video is if name equals main, exit main. And I knew this was wrong, and I pointed this out in the video that I didn't really care that this was wrong. Um, and the reason this is wrong is uh, the exit, which looks like a built-in in this case, because I haven't imported it from anywhere. And if you run the Python interpreter, you'll see that you know exit is available. Um, but this is actually caused by the site module, and so it isn't guaranteed to always be there. And in fact, if we run Python 3 capital S, which skips site initialization, you'll see that exit is not defined. You'll also see that there's some other, you know, like these things didn't get printed on startup. Uh, you'll see that help also isn't there, copyright isn't there, and a few other things um, aren't available because those are traditionally set up by the site module. However, a distributor can choose to either not ship the site module at all or ship a site module that's modified in some way and doesn't have these same built-ins. Um, the other thing is sometimes Python will run in embedded situations where a site module isn't available um, because you know there isn't a site module. Uh, this can also speed up startup slightly if you use this. Um, but the thing is, site is almost always there when you're running Python. And the reason it's almost always there is site is what kind of sets up site packages. So if you had, you know, a virtual env, and say we did pip install AST pretty, if we do Python 3-s and we try and import AST pretty, you'll see that it doesn't import. And this is because, you know, site sets up site packages. And you're not familiar with site packages, I actually have another video that goes over that, and I will link that in the description. So while it is fairly safe to use this exit built-in, there are some situations where it will not work. And so I have changed my advice to a different approach. Now there's there's another approach that is safe, um, and that is to import the sys module and use sys.exit. Uh, but I find this a little bit annoying because you have to import a module and you have to type these four extra characters. And it's more more than I would like. Um, but you can actually use this syntax, raise system exit. And this will work without needing to import anything. And it has exactly the same uh, qualities as either the exit built-in or sys.exit. In fact, if you look at the implementation of sys.exit, uh, actually, how are we going to be able to do that? Um, lib or Python sys module. Sys exit. Sys exit implementation. In fact, here we here we are. We have the implementation of sys.exit. And what it does is it runs pi air set object. This sets the global exception handler uh, and or the exception value, and it sets it to a system exit class, which is the same as what we have here. And whatever the object that got passed in will be set as status and then it returns null. This is how CPython indicates that it, an exception was raised, returns null uh, for the pi object instead of returning none. 
So this is exactly equivalent to sys.exit. In fact, it's a slight bit faster because it doesn't have to you know, call through to the sys module. Uh, and so this is what I have been preferring recently as my way to um, make my entry points in my programs. So that's the reasons that I have adjusted from my, my previous, <laughs> previous recommendation. Um, but whatever, you can use whichever one you find the most comfortable. Uh, you know, import the sys module, use that, use the site exit built in, whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm going to start using this in all of my entry. Anyway, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.